So we were just uh, we were just talking about fantasies. No, a T. Higgins, a Mike Evans, uh, like fantasy land. I hope it happens. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Jeff but, gave his fantasy pick at the at the break. He no, did. Don't Re- say no, fantasy. no. See, I was gonna say realistically, people still available. Yes. We talked about Jarvis Landry. We talked about Rashad Higgins a little bit. Eh. Julio Jones. You need you need a walker to bring him into the into the into the practice <laughs> he needs, facility. He needs a trainer following him but at all times. But this guy Jeff, I had it in the chat because I said or in the prep I said we're really not doing this, are we? <laughs> Jeff goes, oh, look at my fucking tattoo. What about Kenny Galladay? <laughs> Plead your case for Kenny Galladay, please. Tell me how many catches and touchdowns he had last year, and then plead your case for Kenny Oh, yeah, Galladay. if we're going off last year, you know what? Then cook. this this is not going to cook, all right? Last year, he obviously, you know, nowhere to be found. Uh, I think he had one touchdown catch, if I'm not mistaken. That was over Darius Slay. Darius Slay, yeah. Um, but I'll tell you why. Kenny Galladay. I'll t- yeah, you want to? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got a question for you. I got a question for you. All right, all right. Kenny, Gall- uh, Kenny Galladay stock at one point in Detroit. Yes. All right, with a, a quarterback in Matthew Stafford mm-hmm. and uh, a wide receiver was- across from him, Marvin Jones. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I'll get to that in a second. Who he's going to be playing with? But thank you, Lucas. Okay. Um, sorry, I blew his yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on. He. he Two seasons, 1,000 yards, 1,100 yards, and then uh, was hurt in that last year before, of course, he didn't bring him back. Went to New York, had 500 yards, over 500 yards, and 37 catches, right? So decent, underperformed. They paid him a lot of money last year. Whatever. Didn't work out. He's, th- this stock, Kenny Galladay is at the lowest price right now possible. You just throw a little, hey, there you go, buddy. Take this off. The guy was yeah, showing up drunk to training camp. Well, bro. he was unhappy in, for the Giants. That's he played for a quarterback that had 15 touchdown passes. Okay, and why didn't Kenny catch more? Because you, are you saying Daniel, Daniel Jones, Jones is is trash? Is that what I you're mean, saying? No, oh, I, Jeff I, loves Daniel. You no, know he's trash. I don't like Daniel oh, Jones. He's not trash. Yeah. Come on, no, he's, not trash. Oh. he's trash enough to get a 45 million dollar contract. No, that's me that's another. Million. That's a whole other topic, but. Kenny Galladay out of that minimum, you throw a bag at him, little little small bag. What, what is that going to do? It comes in. If you, it's it going to make out, me mad. Why? You just <laughs> mentioned earlier you've got a big body receiver on the outside. There you go, a guy. He's I want a big Detroit. body receiver hey. that can create separation. And you don't have to hey, give anything up. You don't have to give Jeff anything up. You don't have to give anything up. You don't have to give anything up. If we if you have we to give up my sanity. That's what you got to give up. If we were to sign Kenny Galladay for like five mil, I'd be irate. But at this point, just. I'd be I afraid. I'd be I. How I don't know. Either way, I'm not gonna <laughs> spend my time thinking about that. I I would be content. But the, here's the thing that where it's like I never think this will happen because the second Kenny Dow, Kenny Galladay drops a ball at four field, the stadium is going oh, to go yeah. nuts. Oh, like yeah. there's going to be people even if we sign him for a dirt cheap Brad like discount, people are still gonna be pissed. And I think Brad oh, knows that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this My guy. My brother out oh, there. Yeah. Warning, <laughs> flee from Richard the wrath to come. Is that? Oh, oh I had a dude in a scooter guy? in the middle of the street? Jeff, is that the same guy we seen earlier? Yeah, we got yeah, a Saudi is. prince on a scooter <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the street. And we got, <laughs> how can you escape the damnation of hell? Repent to be converted. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the bro. freaks are out on Woodward. I'm not talking about in a good way. <laughs> but if me and Jeff seen that exact same guy. There's yeah, no way this guy's going down Woodward on an electric scooter. That guy was there for the preseason game. You remember, insane. we saw him at the preseason oh, game. Oh, yeah, he was for, screaming with the microphone. That guy makes his rounds. No, yeah. For people Shit who don't know, it's, it's a man holding up a, a sign that, you know, has some some religious things listed. Yeah. He's, big he's got Jesus a big old, big old blow horn, whatever it's called, air horn. Shout out to the I would rather have a 75-minute conversation with that guy than re-sign Kenny Galladay. Okay, well, so, I'll tell you, the Kenny Galladay yeah. stuff, why? I know you have something personal with Kenny. But you talked about the Ford Field thing. It's not too personal. The dude, the dude, was good for the Lions. The dude struggled in New York. Like you think he can't handle a every place he's already comfortable struck. with? Every wide like, receiver. Like New York's like you don't think he was, he was getting talked Name to. Name the in wide New York. receivers that that struggled in New York. Sterling Shepard because okay. of injury. Yeah, injury. You, you could say Kadarius Tony. His ceiling was definitely not matched. Golden Tate was somewhat successful. Golden Tate was washed. But at that point, he got traded for a third round pick, and I was. My heart was ripped out. Washed. Golden Tate was still productive there, but they've never even had a wide receiver there. So when you throw in exactly. a guy, 
But that's what I'm saying is they've never really had a wide receiver there, so the culture in the room there, it's not going to be anything that you expect. They've Kenny never Gallagher. had a wide receiver there, so you have a guy coming off of his rookie contract who was doing Look, these I'm big not, things not, in Detroit. I, I, I'm you not expect him to go in there and do something. He did. It's not I'm like not he didn't do. Con- it's not like he didn't perform up to his level in Detroit. It's not like he didn't look like an all right receiver. He didn't do anything. I get that, and I'm not, not saying no, you're like, wrong there, but I'm saying you're going from an offense where Matthew Stafford was throwing up prayers to him every other play to an offense that threw the ball like 15 yards on the field max. I, like, it wasn't a fit, and he was never a fit in New York. I no. love that you say that. I love that you say that. Oh. So is Jared Goff in this offense going to be throwing up 50-yard no, prayers that's to Kenny Gallagher? You, you don't need well, to sign him for that. Chark. You need to sign him for what? a bet How minimum. many times? Dude, <laughs> like four oh, times. you need a fucking DJ Chark, dude. Oh, all I'm saying. We dude, have Marvin. That's where, that's on. where that's going. Oh, my God. We have Marvin. That's, dude. Kenny Galladay got Marvin Jones' production last year, his first year in New York playing with Daniel Jones. And Marvin Jones I, did it with Trevor Lawrence. So let's relax for a second. Trevor Lawrence, he, he, he was he, the third option. Kenny option Galladay was if, asked to be Marvin, that dude for a team, and, and Kenny Galladay, quite frankly, just isn't that dude. But he'd come here right. and be behind Amon Ra, behind a Jamison when he gets back. He's just out there. He's getting, like, what, the third best corner, and he's just running streak routes. If he's open, you got a guy. Yeah. He's better than Denzel that, Mims. I, I agree with I, you there. Right now, Mims couldn't even. Dude, I, and I want to ask you, did you see one highlight from training camp with no, Denzel Mims? No. I don't believe I saw The only one. report on well, Mims Kenny Galladay highlight you saw in a year and a half. Why, well, I, I saw some in Allen Park when he was here. I, but I, he's that was, like, three years but he's ago. Only, he's only 29. He's not old, right? You throw it, it'd be cheap. It's it's a flyer, Adam. What? I don't know what the risk is. Low risk, that's Brad Holmes' type of MO, right? You don't have to risk anything. You don't have to give anything up. You had to give a little conditional pick We're on pick the same up. side here, Jeff. For well, Denzel Mims. We got Mims. arguing over the DJ And you, don't, you didn't lose that conditional pick. He didn't give up anything for yeah, Denzel no, Mims. Yeah, no, it was fair. He but got it back. for Kenny Galladay, you just say, come here. Come here. Are take you going to do that? Are you going to ask for the puppy? But it's, it's, a little, it's a cute little nice pit bull puppy, and then when you give it the biscuit, it bites your hand because Kenny, Kenny Galladay sucks. But we can all admit here sucks. that Kenny Galladay is like the definition of not a Brad Holmes guy. Like, Kenny Galladay yes. is not oh, getting signed a thousand percent. Here. Like, I would – I think the – what you would get him for and the price that would come at would be like a bargain, what he could potentially be. But Brad Holmes is not going to take that bargain. So I think we can all say officially, even if you think it'd be like me and Jeff, think it'd be beneficial. Who no would you rather have, Kenny Galladay or Sammy Watkins? Sammy right without a doubt. Oh, yeah, Sammy. Yeah. And Sammy Watkins has given you, what, five good weeks? Maybe. Now that's the other part of it. But, but no, going that, week come, one. That, he's going off week one. He's going yeah, off but, week one. But, he is always the highest scoring player in fantasy <laughs> week one. Every He's going for 45 fantasy points week one. I love this one. I'm a bad mofo sucks too. Why is this a conversation? Which one of these guys' parents own the show? This is the only way this could be possible. Well, I'll tell you. Hey, uh, I'm a bad mofo sucks too. You can suck two of these nuts, yes. boy. None of my parents own this show. And I'll tell you, I, the Lions... What's Amon Ra's injured or he's coming back. He's doing better. Jamison's injured. You were talking about a wide receiver market that's free agents, dude. I mean, that's related to the conversation. But thank you for, for the view. I like this one it. better. Hit the like, hit the like I like button, this though, one please. better. K. Rye in the Woodward Sports Chat. Kenny Galladay has a tiny pecker. I, well, does he know? It, it, I mean, does he you know? can make assumptions. <laughs> Do you know something, K. Rye, that we don't? It definitely that's shrunk my... in New York. Ken says, says Antonio, <laughs> Ken says Antonio Brown. Would no you rather way. have Kenny Galladay? You think Brad Holmes Kenny for Galladay, a second dude. would sign Antonio Brown? You were no. smoking whatever yeah. Antonio Brown is smoking. No. I guarantee you. Not a chance. Take a flyer. Not, Lucas Klotz or Kenny Galladay? Lucas Klotz without a doubt. <laughs> Come on, Lucas Spenny. Klotz. I mean, Spenny! Lucas has that dog in him? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's... Dude, Lucas is getting... Dude, you're getting just destroyed oh. at the line of scrimmage. Dude, dude. You're not even so going to be able to get story. off. quick story. This is how I know. Jerry Jacobs this is, is like, locking you down. I knew in high school, like I, obviously every kid has a dream of going pro. But I knew high school, my junior year, I got invited to a camp down in Florida. And Lamar Jackson was there. I dropped a pass from Lamar Jackson. Check that off the box. But there was a five-star corner, and he plays at the U right now. His name is Al Blades Jr. And this motherfucker picked me up. Off my feet at the line of scrimmage yeah. and threw me on my back yeah. in front of like four, uh, like tons of four or five star recruits, and that's when I knew I was like, would you I'll rather, go D2. Would you rather have Maz or Kenny Galladay? Dude, I'd I'm, I'm for the Kenny I'm, Galladay. I'm taking Maz. Yeah, because you know, Matt. Maz has the heart, man. He I would like to see Maz at like fullback, dude. If you take Maz's heart, and you put it in Kenny Galladay's body. <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate reset. Matt's had a temper tantrum on Ian E today. Dude, I, there I, was I, some mic issues. He was sitting right here. Maz, uh, Maz was the not guy, happy. Maz deserves more, man. Maz deserves everything. I love Maz. This is one of my favorite people at the network. 
He deserves everything. Hey, and, and look at this. Ryan's Lions. Getting rid of Galladay was one of the first things Holmes and Campbell did when they got here. But guess what? And it was one of the best decisions they've made in their Not tenure. Not paying him. I agree with you. Absolutely. Lindsey Hunter came back to the Pistons. Hey, John oh Fisher says Lucas Glass <laughs> equals Mike Holmes. Hey, I'm not saying. Hey, I'm not trying to. Stay, I'm not trying to see championship or nothing. But hey, he can come back. But it'd be for a flyer. It'd be cheap. John be Fisher the says Lucas Klotz equals Brad Holmes. That's what I'm saying. You're hey, definitely a Brad Holmes. You signed me to a vet <laughs> minimum. A I'm gonna. Guy. I'm gonna tear the practice squad up. I'm gonna give them the <laughs> no, best. No, they're not. The best look that starting defense has ever hey, seen hey, in their hey, life. You versus you think, Stephen Gilmore. Who's winning that rep? Listen, you give me. Look, you give me a year Stop of training. It. I'm okay, but, better but than honestly, Denzel Mims honestly, in training camp. who would you rather see on the outside going against Kansas City week one? Dylan Drummond or Kenny Galladay? Dylan Drummond. Dude, Dylan Drummond's nice. I get that in the preseason game. I mean, you're talking a guy who's, who will be – it'll be his first game in the NFL, and he's playing in, in a huge game. So, in if we're Arrowhead. talking like – In Arrowhead, yeah. Maybe for just uh, – Kenny Galladay would just walk in and be ready. I don't know. Dylan Drummond, I like Would him. Kenny Galladay just walk in and be yeah, ready? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, what? You got his trainer on speed dial? How uh, do you hey. know what kind of shape he's in right now? The man didn't work out. He didn't show up. He was coming in hungover Dylan to training Drummond, camp and games. I'm just saying, for Dylan Drummond, it's lack of experience. I know what I'm saying. I like Dylan Drummond. I'm but saying Dylan Drummond's more ready to play today than Kenny Galladay is. He'll make a bigger impact. I'd take that to the bank. Yeah, probably. He's been able to build up rapport, too. So What's yeah. Kenny Galladay doing right now? He's chilling on his couch watching... You don't know that. Narcos. Hey, <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to break, but comment. Get Kenny Galladay or Dylan Drummond? Just answer the question. Dylan right. Drummond without a question. Okay. Without a question. I'm just saying. Answer. Chris, make a poll. You can unpin my comment and then All make right. that poll. But first, let me tell you guys... <laughs> Venmo has Venmo. <laughs> but Venmo has Venmo rags. $400 for this fixed laptop. Kind of hurt me.